Hi everyone, welcome to Greek Cliche Outdoors. Today we're going to be comparing six different composite penetrator pellets. So, stick around. So the pellets I've chosen are six different composite pellets which means these are pellets made up of two different types of material, whether it be lead, steel, polymer, brass. So the pellets we're going to be looking at today are the H&N Hornets, which are approximately 20 euros, are about 16.2 grains, come 200 in a pack, and are a lead hollow point with a sharp brass tip on the end. Next is the JSB Predator Polymags, coming in at 16 euros, are about 16 grains, 200 in a pack again, again a lead hollow point but this time with a polymer tip. Next up are the Gamo Rockets, I purchased for 9 euros 50, there are about 14 and a half grains, come 100 in a pack and are again a lead hollow point, this time with a hardened steel BB tip. Next is the IRP Steel Ball Head Pellets, 5 euros 50, 15 grain pellets, 100 in a pack, lead hollow point, again with a small steel BB tip, but slightly different from the Gamma Rockets. Uh, fifth pellet is the Skenko Hyper Velocity Field Pellet, which is 8 euros for 100 pellets, and these are 10.8 grains. Now these are a plastic or polymer body with a tin alloy tip. Lastly is the Skenko Heavy Long Range Pellet, 9 euros for 75 pellets, which are 16.7 grains, the heaviest pellets we're using in this test, and have a plastic body and a large tin alloy tip. I also wanted to try and get the H&N Exile Prometheus. A few other companies make a Prometheus style pellet, not sure what it looks like there, but these seem to be always out of stock in Greece, so unfortunately I can't test it this time. Right, so today we're going to be checking out accuracy, we're going to be looking at power and speed, penetration, and then we're going to look how it reacts in ballistics gel. So, let's get to it. The results from the chronograph are as follows. With the H&N Hornet, we achieved a average speed of 222.8 meters per second, and the power output equated to 19.33 foot-pounds. The JSB Predator Polymag achieved 226.2 meters per second, with a power output of 19.57 foot-pounds. The Gamma Rocket, 238.5 meters per second, which equates to a power output of 19.72. The IRP Steel Ball, 169.3 meters per second, with a power of 10.28 foot-pounds. The Skenko Hyper Velocity Field Pellet was the fastest pellet here, 256.5 meters per second, with a power output of 16.99 foot-pounds. And finally, the Skenko Heavy Long Range travelled at a speed of 205.5 metres per second and had a power of 16.86 out of the Crossman Summit Ranger. Right, next, next, let's move on to the ballistics gel testing. So I made this gel last night. So the dimensions of this are 22 centimeters by 22 centimeters. So I'm going to fire the rounds in here at basically point blank range and hopefully we'll get to see the trajectory through the ballistics gel. Okay. 
So first, our first shot, this line here, was our uh, H&N Hornet, which reached approximately 18 centimeters. This was our practice shot. And next is the JSB Predator Polymags, which did about 16 and a half, 17 centimeters. But the polymer tip, you can see from there, came off around about five and a half, six centimeters. Next was the Gamo Rockets, which just like a rocket, shot straight through the ballistic gel and out the other side, so over 22 centimeters. Next, we have the IRP steel ball head. Again, just like the Gamma rocket, it went all the way out, throughout the other side, so that's greater than 22 centimeters. Here we have the Skenko. This is the lightweight polymer and tin alloy pellet reached a maximum of 14 centimeters. And then the last one was the Skenko heavy pellet, which again went straight through, through at the other side, over 22 centimeters. Now let's dig out some of the ones that were still in and see what happened to them. Right, let's dig out the Hornet. So the tip is bent, but it's still attached to the lead body. Let's try and get the Predator Polymag out. Well, that turned itself into a little mushroom. Next, let's try and get this uh, Skenko one out. All that was left of the Skenko lightweight pellet was this polymer body. The zinc tip is nowhere to be found. So here's a table summarizing the ballistics gel data. As you can see, the Skenko heavy long range, the IRP steel ball and the Gamma rocket seem to have the best penetration. Right, let's do penetration again, this time through flower. Let's start off with the H&N Hornets. The Hornet went in there and blew the back of the bag out. Next. Predator Polymag through the top and again smashes through the flower. Next. Gamma Rocket in and a nice a nice big hole at the back. Next, the so in and out the back. Wow, straight in, you can almost see the hole all the way through, and whoa. <laughs> A big hole at the back. Again, a hole you can almost see through the bag. And a huge hole at the back. That was going really fast. It kept on flying. Right, so I think the H&N Hornet, the Predator Polymag, the Gamma Rocket and the IRP Steel Ball, they're all based on a hollow point uh, design which means they dump all their weight into the flower, knocking the flower bag over. The Skenko heavy and lightweight pellets are designed differently. They're not based on a hollow point body and therefore their power and speed just forces them straight through the bag without knocking the bag over.
healthy. If we look at the results from the ballistics gel and from the flower bags, it seems the pellet with the best penetration is the red Skenko Heavyweight, which pushed through the second bag of flour into the third bag. On the ballistic jelly went straight through, like a couple of others did as well. Didn't dump its weight straight away. Right, let's check their accuracy. Results from the accuracy tests can be seen in the table on your screen now. In third place was the Skenko Hyper Velocity Field Pellet, which although one pellet missed, that was my fault, you can see that it was on target two thirds of the time with a spread between the pellets of 29 millimeters. In second place was the H&N Hornet, again on target two thirds of the time with a spread of 26 millimeters. And in first place was the Gamma Rocket, on target two thirds of the time, but with a smaller spread of just 23 millimeters. Right, so that's the testing done. I think that most of the pellets performed pretty well. The best I think though is the Gamma Rocket. It was the second fastest pellet over the chronograph. It produced out of the barrel the most power of all the pellets. It was the joint first for the penetration through the ballistics gel. It only came second to the Skenko heavy long range pellet in the flower penetration and it was the most accurate pellet of all two. They do feel like good quality pellets and they work well with the Crossman Summit Ranger that I use. The worst pellet was the IRP steel ball pellet. Um, it was the slowest, generated the lowest power out of the rifle um, although the penetration was good, the accuracy was not, um, but also the quality was really bad. In the pellets, there's lots of dust, of lead dust in there. There are ridges on the pellet from the molding, which sometimes uh, make it a little bit problematic for actually pushing into your rifle. And uh, many of the pellets provided, the steel ball had actually come out of the lead body. So for that reason, I wouldn't recommend those pellets. All the other pellets, very good. I could recommend them all, but my favorite is the Gamma Rocket. So I hope you enjoyed this video about composite penetrator pellets. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you did like the video, please hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. So for now, thanks very much. Much love to you all. See you next time.